Hey guys, welcome to the ICD 10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand every concept thoroughly. This is part 27 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the root operations in ICD 10 PCS. I'm Vinay Kumar. I carry an overall experience of two decades in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training, and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and preparing for medical coding certifications. I'm dual certified from both AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. At the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding the root operation fragmentation from the second group of root operations. We will look at an example of coding from the medical and surgical section. And remember, medical and surgical section is the most important and biggest section in ICD-10 PCS. Now, there are 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section and these root operations are divided into nine groups which are all based on similar attributes or similar kinds of procedures, surgical procedures. Today, we are looking at the second group which talks about root operations that take out solids, fluids or gases from a body part. There are three root operations in the second group. Drainage, extirpation, and fragmentation. Today, we are looking at the root operation fragmentation, which carries a, a character value of F. Now, root operations are the most important aspect of building an ICD-10 PCS code. Remember that root operations define the objective or the goal of the procedure. What is the uh, surgeon trying to accomplish becomes the root operation. Always read the definitions of the root operation and compare it to the actual procedure performed so that you get the correct root operation. So fragmentation. Fragmentation is defined as breaking solid matter inside a body part into smaller pieces. Fragmentation is coded for procedures to break up but not removing the solid matter such as a, calcul a calculus or a foreign body or a stone. Now, this root operation includes both direct and extracorporeal fragmentation procedures. Extracorporeal is nothing but from outside the body. Now, these are examples of procedures that fall into the root operation of fragmentation. Extracorporeal shockwave with epilepsy or ESWL, transurethral cystoscopy with fragmentation of the calculus, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography or ERCP with lithotripsy, and a transurethral lithotripsy. So basically, we are talking about uh, fragmentation of calculi or stone for the most part. Also remember that once the stone is fragmented or broken into smaller pieces, and if this stone is removed using a basket or a basket extraction is performed, then the root operation should be coded as extirpation and not fragmentation. But if the stone is left inside the body to drain on its own, then it becomes a fragmentation procedure. This is very important to remember. Now, this is an example of coding fragmentation procedures extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy or ESWL of bilateral ureters. Now, basically, this is a stone removal procedure from bilateral ureters by using external shock waves. Okay, this procedure fragments the stone into smaller pieces. Now, these fragmented pieces are then left inside the uh, ureters or the body to drain out through the urinary stream. That's the reason this is coded as fragmentation procedure. This is the corresponding table that shows the fragmentation. Section is medical and surgical. Body system is urinary system. Root operation is fragmentation. 
Now for the body part, since there is no bilateral value for the ureters, we will need to code separately for the left ureter and also the right ureter, which means that there will be two codes for this particular procedure. The approach is external since shock waves are used from outside the body to break the stone into pieces, extracorporeal. No device for the sixth character and the seventh character is Z, no qualifier. So the code for the ESWL of the right ureteral stone is 0, T, F, 6, X, Z and Z. And the code for the ESWL of the left ureteral stone is 0, T, F, 7, X, Z, Z. Ideally the same code, but the only thing that changes is the body part value, the fourth character. Now, the key points to remember. For lithotripsy procedures, if the stone is fragmented and removed using a basket, code it as extirpation. However, if the stone is fragmented but left inside the ureter or the uh, urinary stream to drain out from the urinary stream, code it as a fragmentation as the root operation. And also with fragmentation, the objective of the procedure is to break the stone into smaller pieces so that it can be drained out from the urinary stream. These are the key points that you need to remember. Now, you'll find the online version of the ICD-10 PCS coding manual from this link, uh, which is provided by CMS. The link is also available in the description of the procedure. So you can go to the link and download it from there. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already and follow the series from the playlist for the complete set of videos. We will also talk about the third group of root operations from the medical and surgical section in the coming videos and also the guidelines for ICD-10 PCs. And I will pretty soon start a series for CPT coding as well in the coming weeks. Thank you.